parents of newborn infants have been talking to me about whether they should be talking or even reading to their babies, even though their babies can't talk back. Well, let me speak up on the subject of infant communication. Turns out that your baby is talking to you from the moment of birth when your baby cries. Crying means your baby is hungry, they may be overwhelmed, tired, wet, need a little cuddling, or they may even be sick. Now add in your human voice. The voice of a parent or a grandparent quickly becomes associated with being fed, being warm, being touched. In fact, your baby will oftentimes quiet down at the sound of your voice even before you pick your baby up. So the name of the game is to talk to your baby frequently and often. And a recent study suggests moms, you're doing a better job than dads. Actually, you're talking three times as frequently to your baby in a back and forth conversation. Why is this important? Because there's other data that suggests that the more you talk with your baby, the quicker their baby's going to learn to speak. And the quicker your baby learns to speak, well, the more advanced the vocabulary and the better off your baby's going to do in school. And yet there's been some recent data suggesting that in lower income families, infants and toddlers don't hear as many words being spoken. In fact, their short 30 million words would can certainly not give them a jump start when they get to school. That's why when you bring a baby in for a checkup, no matter what your socioeconomic class is, we recommend that you talk and read read to your baby frequently. We may even give you a new book to take home and read to your baby even if they can't understand what you're reading because these are words that will eventually improve their communication. So what do I recommend? Talk to your baby, read to your baby as frequently as possible and that includes dads. You need to get in the game. If you don't know what to say to your baby, again, read to them or talk about what's in the room, what you just had to eat, what you're watching in a sporting event because if your baby starts to answer back, well, that's perfect communication. But if you find that despite my suggestions, your baby isn't answering when you expect your baby to make some noise, well, talk to your child's healthcare professional who will just make sure that the hearing is okay. So that hopefully, tips like this will allow you to walk the walk when it comes to helping your baby talk the talk and improve infant communication. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.